You know, Brian, um, the other, last night on DVR, uh, my wife and I watched a special that was on TV the other night called uh, The Story of Soaps, daytime drama, soap operas. And they talk about the beginning and they talk about, you know, um, Luke and Laura on General Hospital, which was a big deal. They talk about Dallas and who shot Jr. And then they get to the point in 1994 with O.J. Simpson and how all of the drama and the courtroom and the Bronco chase and everything became so important and such a big deal that a lot of that coverage interrupted soap operas. And many people who were longtime fans, you had that long break. And many of those people, once all of the OJ drama was over, never came back. And then you had the advent of reality shows and other things. And I'm wondering if this gap with coronavirus and no fans and everything we're seeing right now, is this going to be the equivalent for professional wrestling and WWE specifically? Dude, I've been asking that question for months when I had to listen to people explaining that these ratings during the pandemic don't matter. And Dave has pointed out that if you look at the decline across all of the uh, the WWE programming, it's 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 the same. It's like this, this, he says, is all due to the pandemic. And he's He's probably 95% right, maybe even 99% right. But that's one half of the issue. The other half of the issue is, are these people going to come back? They, they have come back in smaller and smaller numbers every year after football season. I mean, people leave in September, and in the old days, they all came back in January. It's not the old days anymore. Now they leave in September, and a, a percentage comes back. And the next year, more leave in September, and only a percentage come back. And a lot of people have left starting in mid-March when they went to empty arena shows. I mean, we're not even talking casuals. I'm talking people on our board, people in the uh, my Twitch homies in the chat. I've heard a lot of people say, dude, I'm out until the fans come back. When the fans come back, I'll come back. And that's all well and good to say, but I promise you, I promise you, those numbers are not going to return to the level that they were before coronavirus. Hopefully it's only 5% lower, something like that. But the idea that as soon as fans come back, these these wrestling fans are going to return to watching TV in the same or larger numbers, I don't think that's happening. Yeah, you know, we've talked about this, but I guess until I saw the uh, the special talking about OJ and the soaps, I thought this was unprecedented. And while certainly that wasn't a disease, but from the length of break and distraction, um, I don't think it is unprecedented at all. I think it takes, what is it, two weeks to either build or break a habit, and we've been gone quite a while. It's usually, yeah, three to four weeks, and it's been way more than three to four weeks. So those people that have gotten out of the habit, some of them are not going to get back into the habit again. Going up against live sports competition on cable TV for the first time since the start of closed set shows did not hurt the ratings for Dynamite on TNT last night. The Double or Nothing Go Home Show, 701,000 viewers, up 7% from last week. However, NXT down 2% to 592,000 viewers. They both went head-to-head with NASCAR. And last week, they both went head-to-head with UFC, and UFC took a sizable bite out of both shows' 18 to 49 numbers. This week, it appears that NASCAR only took a bite out of those AEW, or those NXT numbers, at least a larger bite. May have affected AEW to a degree, but AEW was up, NXT was down. It was the best... 18 to 49 showing for AEW since coronavirus shut everything down. They were number seven in the 18 to 49 prime demo. NXT was out of the top 50. They were number 53. And their 18 to 49, the money demo, 0.13. They did half of what AEW did in that demo. So, again, young people are not watching NXT. And the young people that do watch NXT, they apparently chose to watch NASCAR 
over NXT this past Wednesday night. We should also mention, since we haven't talked about these for a while, these DVR numbers, uh, they have not been cut in half, but they have been cut almost in half since prior to coronavirus. Oh, wow. There, there was a time where... You know, AEW and NXT would be doing 400,000 viewers or more on DVR. And now it's right around between 210 and 250,000. So not only are they losing live viewers, but those viewers aren't even DVRing anymore. So these are very, very concerning numbers, despite the fact that AEW did its best showing in 18 to 49 since before this all started. Well, not DVRing something is a conscious choice. Yes. Um, and especially for me, like, m- when I set the DVR, it's set to always record. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not like like I have to consciously stop recording the shows, or we're looking at, you know, 150,000 people who, for some reason, have to remember to set it to DVR every week, and for some reason don't have the option to record the series. Well, and you also, how often do you go through and clean your DVR as far as the shows uh, move things up, move things down, uh, get rid of them. I, what do you do that? Once a couple times a year, maybe? Well, let me say one thing about that. So I don't have a normal DVR. I have YouTube TV, and YouTube TV has an unlimited DVR. So I never have to do anything. But if you've got a normal DVR that you can only DVR 20 hours worth of programming, or you've got, I think, you know, some of the other streaming services, there's a limit to your DVR. I mean, then you do actually have to go through. And if you've been watching a lot more television, you know, wrestling may fall off that DVR list. So, you know, it's possible that that that's the issue. No, I think that really says something. I mean, if you miss something, maybe you're distracted or your life has shifted during coronavirus or you've checked out like you talked about. But to get in and deprogram it off your VCR, your DVR, that's that's a choice. That's a conscious decision.